Good morning children. I welcome you all again in the world of science. I hope you all are taking good care of yourself and your family. In our last video, we had seen about the nutrients required by the human body. And those are carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins, minerals, water and fiber. Now, in the second part of this lesson, that is components of our food, we are going to study about balanced diet, some important tips to preserve nutrients in the food, overweight, underweight, and about malnutrition. Children, to remain healthy, you need all the nutrients in the right amounts. No single food item contains all the nutrients. Therefore, you need a combination of food items and it is called a balanced diet. Children, the amount of food consumed by a person in a day constitutes the person's diet. To remain healthy, you need all the nutrients in the right amounts. Our diet should contain carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, fiber and water in right amount. The daily intake of food which contains all the necessary nutrients in the right quantities is called a balanced diet. Children, in early childhood, the child grows rapidly. He or she needs more protein and carbohydrate rich diet. A hardworking laborer and player need a carbohydrates and protein rich diet. Nursing mothers and pregnant women also need proteins to serve the needs of the growing baby. Students, foods such as vegetables, cereals and meat are cooked before eating. Cooking makes the food soft, tasty and easy to digest. But children, wrong cooking methods destroy several nutrients in it. So children, here are some important tips to preserve nutrients in the food. First, overheating or overboiling should be avoided as it leads to the loss of any important nutrients like vitamin C. Repeated washing of rice and pulses can decrease their nutrient content. Excess water should not be drained while cooking of rice and pulses as protein and mineral constituents are lost. Peeling of the skin of potatoes and apples result in the loss of vitamins and minerals. Washing vegetables after cutting or peeling leads to the loss of vitamins B and C. Exposure of cut fruits to air for a long time not only leads to change, change of color and taste but can also reduce the nutrient value. This picture shows how to retain nutrients while cooking? What are do's and what are don'ts? Children, our next topic is overweight and underweight. By eating too much, a person takes in more nutrients than the body requires. The body stores the excess amount of nutrients as fat and gains weight. Overweight people are at high risk of developing heart disease and diabetes. Eating too little means taking in fewer amounts of nutrients than the body requires. A person who eats less for a long period of time will be underweight and weak. Children, our next topic is malnutrition. Malnutrition occurs when the body does not get proper amount of all the nutrients it needs. The ratio of proteins, fats and carbohydrates in the diet should roughly be 1 as to 1 as to 4. People who do not get enough to eat suffer from the malnutrition due to insufficient nourishment. The, de the deficiency of proteins, carbohydrates and fats is known as protein energy malnutrition that is PEM. Children, now let's see symptoms of malnutrition. There are two types of malnutrition. First is protein energy malnutrition. In this, the symptoms are such children are weak, 
do not gain weight and their arms and legs appear as skin and bones. They are not active, look dull and fall sick often. You can see the picture. Second, protein malnutrition. And the symptoms are, such children have thin reddish hair, swollen feet and hands, and the stomach protrudes. They may look not thin, but they are not as active as other children of their age. Children, now let's re recall what we have learned in this video. We have learned about balanced diet, some important tips to preserve nutrients in the food, overweight and underweight, and about malnutrition. Children, I hope you understood the content of this video very well. And please complete your classwork and homework on time. In our next video, we are going to study about deficiency diseases. In that, we will see night blindness, rickets, goiter, scurvy, and about anemia. Till then, take good care of yourself. Thank you, children. Bye-bye.